What's going on? Okay. <laughs> What's Biscuit going baby. on? Biscuit baby, Coca in the Coco Loso, Coco Moco. Right. Okay, so right now we have a Twitter topic that was trending yesterday. That one X. Mm. You did D. Mm. <laughs> that not one X. Biscuit, what would you say? She said, is it easier to just keep it moving forward or should you at least work it out with an X? I said, keep that shit moving fucking forward. What you say, Biscuit? I say, I don't, I, I, I don't know. It, it can go she both ways. I, you know what? I feel like this. Dealing with an ex, it would probably be nothing more than just sex. Now you're rhyming. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying though, like when, when you deal with an ex, though, like it's like when you when you lose trust in a person, or when you just lose interest in a person, or then you take my shoes off. That when you you know what I'm saying, it's like you know, but like. If the sex was good. <laughs> okay, you talking about another sex. How many exes have you actually had? Real talk. Real I'm counting real. one in my head. You know who I'm thinking. <laughs> my exes? Yeah. I mean, I I have a I have a bad track record of fucking with exes. I understand that. It just be easier, cause like I don't like my my comfortability level. Is that a word? Comfortability. <laughs> How about like, comfort level? Comfortability okay. should be a word. I think <laughs> it just sounds. I don't know, but yeah. But uh, my 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 comfort level though, like it it, it takes a long time to get comfortable with a person. To you know what I'm saying? Ooh, this, ooh, that. So it's like gonna fuck with an ex. If I just fuck you, no need to get comfortable. It's just what it is, but like on some emotional, on some feelings, on some oh yada yada yada, that shit still be dead. But like the sex, your hormones, you don't have, I feel like you don't have no control of your hormones. Okay. Me personally. But when like when you meet somebody new, like that's the good thing, like new person, so y'all figuring each other out. Like that's the whole. That's why the first six months, of, if you really start talking to somebody, be the best because y'all learning new things, you're experiencing new things. It's not the same old say. Like when you get back with your ex, you know the same old moves. Not like it's a bad thing because trust me, it be that one motherfucker. You be like, oh my god, you did it. But, <laughs> but when you get with a new person, sometimes it can be good and it can be bad. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like when you start fucking with an ex again, everything go. It's too much history. It's too like, much repeat. Yeah, like, it's, that's it's, why exes repeat. never uh, work rebutted. because y'all have too much fucking history. Too much issues. And then too that's much what, baggage. Yeah, too the baggage much. and trust. And and all the old part, shit. Exes could work it out, know. but nine times out of ten, when two exes get together, they not letting go of everything that happened in the past. One exactly. of them motherfuckers still holding on to something, which leads to Everybody in something. here who is currently with the ex, raise their hand. I'm not with anyone. Exactly, because the shit does not work. It does not work. Is currently with somebody current. Oh. <laughs> 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 I missed it. Oh. <laughs> she said everybody in here who is currently with somebody current, raise their hand. <laughs> somebody don't count either, really. So, anyway. Free, free, <laughs> goddammit. it. Free, free. But, oh, so y'all in a relationship? No. But that's the closest thing to it. I will say that. Get it. Anyways. Now. The thing with the. No. We is. That's another thing. I do not have a fucking girlfriend or boyfriend. But. I do have somebody that I am mainly focused on. The only person that really holds my. That really holds my interest at all. Not even really. Oh my god. The only person that has my heart. But. I'm staying away from titles right now. I I, I can't do it. Just titles like, confuse things sometimes. No. But if it was a title. But if it was a title. No, that she got it. But we she don't have it because but, it's not. But anyway. That's why I changed it. That's why I said. That's why I said no titles. Cause cause you can't say stuff like that if you got a title. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Free free, yeah. goddammit. Anyways. But exes, exes don't mean shit. And she will die though. If y'all yes, broke up, God damn it, you broke up for a motherfucking reason. Exactly. But sometimes, especially baby daddy. But listen though, but listen especially though, especially fucking but baby daddy. Though. But what about the uh, the saying uh, when you let something go, if it comes back, then you know what's real. Okay, but that 
it's some truth to that, but if y'all, it depends on what kind of note y'all ended. Like most people, when they have an ex, they end it on a bad note. That's why it's your ex. Most exes you don't end on a good note with. But if it's like a mutual decision, like you know what, this, this, that, they like, you know what, I feel you. Yeah, this, this, that, and it's just like, well, maybe we should go and separate. And then for whatever reason, y'all somehow y'all just not even end up back together, but it's like y'all run across the same path, and it's like. Shit, why not? You know? Well, I mean, if, if y'all feel if y'all feel like y'all could work it out, I'm pointing to then I so say, hey, go for it. But for the most part, I'm just saying stay away from I had a stat about this yesterday. What old memories bring back old feelings that get you caught up in old situations. And if you're a new person, you need to stay away from all that shit. That's how I feel. I'm trying to stay away from Say that one more that. time for the people. Say that one more time for the people. Say that one more old time memories for the people. Old bring memories. Back old feelings that get you caught up in old situations. And if you're a new person, you need to stay away from all that shit. That's how I feel. I'm Emphasis on all. every old and the one new. It, that's how I had it, too. I capitalized <laughs> the old and the new. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No. Well, get it up. And it didn't seem like. Every time you is completely over your ex, like you don't even have that. What happened? That motherfucker send you a text. Thank you. Like you don't have a, even have a ting in your heart. You know how you get that pound in your heart. See, like listen, it, listen, listen. You know how you get that thing in your heart. Like when you see somebody that you loved or used to love. Every time you get completely over an ex, they come back in somehow. Like I'm completely and utterly over one of my exes. Don't have a desire to be with him. At all. But, <laughs> but see, that's a trick to that. That motherfucker still owe me some money. I gotta be at least a little bit. A little cordial. No. But, like, I don't have nothing for this man. And as soon as I'm completely over him, all of a sudden, here he comes texting me and all this bullshit. No, no. What you doing, man? Not gonna work. You Boy, know you I miss sleep. you. You ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I send the pictures of they niece and shit. I you know what? I think it might be ten times worse to let go of a female than it would to be let go of a nigga. I really think I, I really think especially Maybe. if you've never fucked with a female before. If you if you are a female and you are just now starting out on your lesbian expedition, get to the I think that it would be much harder to let go of a female than this let go of a nigga. And another thing, if a female love you you're not finna stop that bitch from loving you. I see that now. That's why females have so many problems. Because when you fall in love with somebody, you can't stop that motherfucker from loving you. Now, like, nigga, they'll let that shit go. Females, they ain't let you go if they ain't ready to me. Go ahead, bitch, give it your commentary. Um, you know, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I agree. What yes. if I'm sorry to cut you off when cut I you with your Cut turn. me the fuck off. Cut me off. Cut me off. I love what you. if what if like somebody's situation that I know. <laughs> what if you don't want that motherfucker to be your ex? What if you want that motherfucker to be your current? How you gonna make that happen? And I, well, okay. What if you don't want that motherfucker to be your ex? What if you want that motherfucker to be, to be your, your current. current? Okay, so the <laughs> ex. Now, it all it all has, like, you know what I'm saying? Why we break up? Like, is it my fault? Am I like... What if my fault is done now? I mean... But like I'm saying, okay, you say I want my ex to be my current, like my ex. Don't get that phone from uh, TT. My ex, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, did I fuck up? And now I'm feeling like, damn, she was good ass bitch. I shouldn't have fucked up. I want her back. I'm ready now. Or is it like she fucked up? Fuck that bitch. But at the end of the day, shit, 98 percent. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take what you can get. Biscuit. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, said you got to take what you can get. <laughs> 98%. I'm going to need motherfuckers to actually 2%. have... I'm going to need motherfuckers to actually have standards. We ain't taking oh. what we can get now, damn it. 98% is as good as motherfucking standard. Consider Ooh, ain't nobody cute. motherfucking perfect. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, that's that? That's like that hair we seen in Inglewood, girl. Girl, that shit is I cute, like girl. Like I just... 